Hello, welcome back for another um, tutorial video. Um, so I was looking at um, this little bench here that I made in a previous video, uh, and I was testing it out in my environment, and I thought like, that is very small. I mean, that is that is very very small. That's a foot bench, not something to actually sit on. Um, so I thought like, I want to make it bigger, um, and I thought it'd be good to actually create a video on that to s show you how I would do something like that. Um, so I have uh, I have the other props here to to show you the size comparison. I actually wanted to make it um, the same size as this, maybe a bit less broad though, si almost the same as the chest. Um, so how I would do that? Let's see that one. Show you the the lines on it. I'm going to shift drag this to copy it. Um, I'm going to put it at zero, make sure the rotation is at zero, there, um, get those a bit out of the way. So I want to show you how to sort of remix pixel art 3D uh, stuff without actually having to retexture anything, because it's very simple um, if you just do it in a smart way. For example, I want to make it higher, so I can just duplicate this bit um, upwards. I need to get a bit creative with the um, the plank highlighting, but I can just easily copy paste that. Um, so let's first get started. Look, like how big do I want it? So right now it is. Um, let me think. Twenty-five. No, fifty by twenty-five by twenty-five. Put that at zero. <coughs> so this is the the outline that it currently has, and I want to go for 100 width. Um, I want to go with 50. No, I think the width is okay, and if it's not, we can always change it later. So this is what I'm aiming for uh, at first. So um, let me bring up the layer explorer. It's been a while. This one. Um, so I've got this box selected. I'm going to freeze it so I can keep it in there. So this is going to be my, my reference. Uh, I want to have it see through. So now I can see um, actually through my box and and work inside my model. I can click anywhere. It's not going to select it. If you want to have have uh, back control of this, you can unfreeze it here. Helps if you name your elements, but uh mm. <laughs> I didn't. So let's see. I could take cut work very easy and just use this bit as my center. I think we'll actually do that. Just start easy. Um, it's probably easiest to work in orthogonal to actually do this, but because um, otherwise you you might be hitting like this uh, this vertex in the cent in the middle or something, and you're dragging and you're working. Suddenly you realize it's all messed up in the middle. But I I think I got it here. So um, the handy thing about this is you have um, Z fighting because the um, the two planes are actually at the same position and the GPU doesn't really know what to render first so it's kind of like now this first and now this first um, and you can ac accurately tell how far to drag it you're not it's not gonna be perfect there's probably more accurate ways of doing this but this is accurate enough for uh, for my uses Yeah. So that's the width figured out. You and what you could also do is um, instead uh, cut here, that you extend this bit and this bit. But I kind of like that it has the um, the long gap in it on the bottom. I might actually want to enhance that a 
bit. No, no, now it fits. Now it fits in with this. So that's the initial bit in. But now we're gonna need to make some cuts. Um, I want to select this. Let's see. Let me suggest. Yeah. So um, select one, hold shift, and it'll suggest that. Otherwise, you can also use a ring or loop to get the actual um, ring. You can also just select it, but this is sometimes handy if there's uh, vertices in the way that you might not want to select. Um, do I want to do anything with the middle? Yes. Wait. Is it the same position? Let's find out. Um, I think I'm going to select it manually in this case because I also want the inside. Ooh, that's a bother. Um, let's fix that then first. So I want to, I I want to work with this line here, and that is not present on the inside. Let's see if I can actually place that. Now the question is, where do I put it exactly? It doesn't matter that much because there is no texture information here. So I want to put it equal to that. Can I see? No. A bit lower, maybe? It's too low, right? this will do it. Um, so 42, got to remember that because I'm going to do the same on this side. Um, wait, no, I want to connect it at 42 and then I want to cut from, so you can see um, where you're going to cut you see this is a, a, a line that you're cutting on and this is a dot, your a vertex that you're cutting on. So click, click, right click to stop the cutting. Click, click, right click. Yeah, that looks about right. Alright, so that's the preparation of the inside done. Now I can do this again. Oh, no. Oh. First select, um, I keep forgetting what this is called, edges, <laughs> it's been too long. So now I want to cut this one, um, first I want to cut it here, I think that's perfect on the line. Um, because if I'm just going to duplicate this bit, there's going to be highlights, uh, there's going to be only shadow on the edges, but I, I want to duplicate from here to here. Um, stick this again, connect. I don't think that is perfect, but whatever. Um, how am I going to do this? I'm going to actually take a bit off, I think. Um, I want... Oh, that's annoying. This. This. So I'm again, I'm control clicking and then shift clicking to create the ring. Doesn't always work, as you can see. Uh, oh, no, it seemed to take it. Oh, no. Not this. This is not what I want. Uh, oh, I do want that. I almost forgot again <laughs> about the inside. So I want to take this out again. Top 
pieces and then we're going to detach those I might have misclicked there no nope got it okay now we're going to detach where's detach detach and we want to detach as an element to keep it in the same model so now it's not actually the the um, edges and the vertices are not connected to each other anymore here so I can just do this rise it up and then try to sort of make it right yeah I'm actually going to do the same thing to this. Not yet, because I haven't actually made the cut here yet on the inside. Um, in this case, shift didn't work. Try loop, try ring. Ring was it. Connect. It should be... Oh, okay, yeah. So it's at 55, which is the same as this one. So I can be pretty confident that it's going to be at the same height. So I'm taking these and then shift dragging them up. Um, so I'm to clone to element and clone to element. Now this is a bit awkward. It's not actually the height that I want it to be. Um, I guess it's because of this. Can I just... Can I just do that? <laughs> That's a bit cheeky. Um, but that works. <laughs> um, it does look a bit repeated now, doesn't it? But, it's, you know, it's just gonna happen, I guess. Uh, so now we have all these different pieces that are not connected anymore. So I'll go to vertice mode, Control A, select all, and weld. I'll just give it a bit more. Okay, not too much. Three hundred. Yeah. Okay, now it's all one piece again. Did I mess everything, anything up? I don't think so. Oh, I didn't take... Mm, didn't think of the inside again. Uh, okay, so they are here. Mm. Oh, that doesn't... Okay, I'll just manually select it. It's important to always check after you've done something like this, see if you messed anything up. I'm gonna... no, that's front, that's not... It's um, in Unity you have uh, F to um, look at the thing, to focus the camera on the thing, and here it's Z, like, and F here is actually, um, oh, change the view to front. Mm, it's not very accurate, but it'll get welded anyway. Weld again. Wasn't it 300 before? Oh yeah, but I added vertices, of course. Yeah. Alright, now it's one piece. Let's go see in the layer explorer. Get rid of this. Ah, oh, now it's very thin, isn't it? How can I fix that? So, let's just make it a bit broader. Um, loop? What am I selecting? Loop? No? Ring? That does not include the inside, which would imply that this is not connected. Yep. Let's go back to vertices weld there we go that's better so it is 300 of course yeah um like if there's a band like this missing you're not uh, you're not adding vertices by adding polygons 
so it is was supposed to be 300. Um, let's go back to this. What was it ring? Yeah, connecting all the way through now. Good. Um, I'm going to connect it at the center. And how am I going to duplicate it? Um, Hmm. That's interesting. Um. Hmm. I could put the line in the middle, but I want to have. If I just repeat this entire bit, then I'm also repeating this which is not what I want, I think. I think I will want to have nails at the end. So if I did this instead, I have the middle here that I want, but then I need to somehow make this bit broader. I'll just go just repeat this bit. It's fine. Put it in the middle for me. Hmm. Ah, that's it's annoying. <laughs> um, I didn't actually make these lines straight. Which happened because of the um, um, because of the uh, extrusion that we used, so that makes it somewhat complex. I think this is something that would need actually to have the texture changed a bit. So I think I'm going to keep it with this. I'm not happy with how high it looks now, so I guess we'll just take a bit out. Delete. Oh, yeah, these are just two elements now. So I'll take it down. Oh, yeah, because these are separate now, right? Yeah, that's about right. Control A, weld. We welded. That's better. There we go. Now, this looks like a proper bench. That's a lot better. Somebody can actually sit on this instead of like dwarves or something. Not too happy about this line though. Does that mean it's not connected? No, they're connected. Well, that's fine. Okay, I'm sure it'll it'll look fine in the uh, the actual editor or something. <laughs> if I need to do it again, I'll probably leave this extra bit out and just put it on there. But that's the details. Repeating the same thing. It's not really relevant to the tutorial. So that's how you just remix um, models that you've made. Uh, which is very easy, especially because of the pixel art textures. So thank you for your attention. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, thank you.